conclusion of the evening. Now, there are more of you than there are of me, and I'm not all that good at math. So we're going to try it again, and I'm going to remind you that you're all on vacation, and you never have to see any of these people ever again. How's everybody doing tonight? Great! Make a crowd out of you yet. Welcome to Key West, folks. I'm going to go to Key West. My name is Jay. I'll be your host quite obviously at this point. A couple things I need to go through with you before I get started. First of all, I want to know who here, by show of hands, believe in ghosts. Good. Who does not believe in ghosts? <laughs> we outnumber you, behave yourselves. <laughs> Third question, since a couple of hands in that call, you guys need to be honest over here. Who here by show of hands was dragged off a bar stool because the chief has been doing two hours in Key West? There we go, there's my, I'll see you after the tour. <laughs> when I tell you about the drink specials you get with them little stickers you got on, I'm going to make you one promise here tonight. You don't need to believe in ghosts to have a good time on my tour. All you need is an open mind. I'm going to have actual creepy history that happened here on this island, and I will have you walking off this tour saying that it's seriously one of the best things you have done while here in Key West. Yes, I understand that sets myself up for some stiff competition, but I'm really cocky, and I think that works out best for you guys. Now, next thing I need to know is who's got cameras? Excellent. Who's got digital cameras? My guys got to confuse me so early. How come more hands went up for digital cameras than for cameras overall? What? Oh, fair enough. I can still see. Take a lot of pictures. I'm going to show you what to take pictures of. You want to take at least three to five of everything I point out. As you are taking these pictures, rapid succession seems to be the key in capturing a spirit. Take a lot of pictures all at once. Uh, they show themselves in a lot of different ways, a couple of which you might have heard of. First and foremost, anybody here who has ever went past the Discovery Channel in their lives when it was not Shark Week knows what I'm going to say next. It's called an orb. Inexplicable ball of light in your camera shot. People say that they are dust, people say that they are snow. It is not going to snow in Key West tonight. Trust me. Which sucks for me because it means I'm overdressed. Now, what an orb is. Spiritual energy. Once it leaves the body, it has to find some place to go, some shape to take. While at rest, the easiest form to take in the known universe is a perfect sphere. It's where gravity pulls you, it's why the moon's round, it's more free, it's safe for the kids, everybody's happy that way. Next thing you're gonna see is gonna freak you out a little more. It's called dancing lights. You're gonna catch my lantern or a street light in one of these shots, and then the next one is gonna be streaking past your screen looking like lightning. You're gonna wonder if you are shaking your camera, but everything else is perfectly in focus. Then you're going to ask me if your camera is broken. I'm gonna look you dead in the eye and go, yeah. You guys obviously have no idea how much money I make like this. Good. Next thing you're gonna see, I'm actually gonna show you a picture of later to prove that it exists. It's a lot more rare and a lot more fun to look at. It's called ectoplasmic smoke, and it looks like some jerk is smoking a cigarette right in front of your camera. While we are on the subject, do you have any smokers here? It's safe, I will not judge you. There we go. Smoke in the sky! It's an entirely outdoor tour. Up until our last stop, where I take you inside a haunted building. Uh, we do ask you to the back of the crowd or downwind so that they don't have to smoke with you, and are really close to me so that I can. Two hours this coat, bear with me. When you see this ectoplasmic smoke, Wind is cutting through it in several different directions at once. Make a hallway for it, folks. That food's more expensive than my outfit. But it's fantastic. When you see this ectoplasmic smoke, wind is cutting through it in several different directions at once. Sometimes it shows us faces. Sometimes it shows us full-figured apparitions. And all the time, it looks really cool. So I want to see it after the tour. Uh, next thing is cell phones. Who's got them? Good. The rest of you are liars. Turn them off. At least put them to silence. You're the only one that jumps once they start ringing. Cell phones do a couple of different things on my tour. Not only will it scare the guy next to you, make him look like a sissy in front of his girlfriend, he will find you later. It's a one street town. Also, really annoys the ghosts. Makes them not want to come play with me no more. This is how I make my living. I like my job. I've been doing it a while. And I like it when the ghosts want to come play with me. So I'm going to tell you the other thing that freaks out the ghosts. It's called a car alarm. Don't lean on vehicles unless they're yours. That guy is going to call the cops. Cops can ask that man for a description of who's messing with his car. I'm not going back to jail just like this again. It wasn't fun the first time. And I have people now along these bars who will buy for me so that I was there all night and why I'm wearing the hat. Next thing is a safety issue. Q is this is the second oldest city in the state of Florida. We also have the second oldest sidewalks in the state of Florida. Watch your step, don't trip. It hurts. On the flip side of that, it really hurts. So if you see me writhing on the ground in pain at any point tonight, clutching any part of my body, probably crying like a little girl, I'll be honest. Help me up. <laughs> Laugh afterwards. <laughs> I'm uninsured. And then there's the final rule, which you guys are going to hate me for, because it seems like kind of quiet crowd, but we'll fix it. It's called the ghost oath. And as cheesy as that may sound, as much as you may hate me for it, 